The roadmap for Chapter 5 of Fortnite has been leaked. From Lego Clombo to the theme of Season 3 and even a huge live event at the end of the chapter, all of this looks amazing, but can we confirm it? Well, no, look, it could be fake, but it probably isn't. There's a specific section in this roadmap which shows Billie Eilish being the next festival icon, and today, Fortnite put out a teaser for Festival Season 3 with a background that reminds me very much of Billie Eilish. It uses her colour palette and sort of mysterious vibe, so I'd say at least this part is most definitely true, and we'll find find out when Season 3 releases. If we take a look at the Lego Clombo and the Lego Star Destroyer, they look very hard to fake. We know from the Star Wars collab trailer, it is being brought to multiple modes, including Lego, so this makes a lot of sense. It also just looks very proper. The same can be said with the Season 3 key art, which seems to show sort of an apocalyptic theme for next season of Battle Royale. This is something people have been speculating, as the Oracle talks of dark skies and choking dust. We can see the train being ripped apart by a group of rebels, and this will be the aftermath of whatever happens in our war with Zeus. Zeus is going to bring an hourglass onto the island later this season, and when that runs out, it will cause the end of humanity. How I see it playing out is we have another sort of community event where we break something like we did with the hand and Pandora's box, and we actually have to break this hourglass before the season ends, and when we do, all the sand pours out and it creates this desert area. If we do have an event like this, it will mean there's no proper live event for this season, but there is one at the end of the chapter. Some people are worried these events won't really be story focused anymore, and they'll be about expanding the metaverse, which Honestly, I wouldn't say that's unlikely. The Big Bang was still sort of story, but it was mainly, hey, look at the new modes. So with this yearly pattern of new chapters and big live events at the end of those chapters, there's also another pattern of the OG event. Chapter 2 is rumoured to be coming back for an OG event at the end of Chapter 5. This will bring us Seasons 1 to 3 of Chapter 2 Battle Royale, with the island, loot pool, and even some LTM. I did talk about this a while ago, but I speculated it would be multiple weeks that focused on the different seasons all throughout Chapter 2. So why is it just the first three? And why is your subscribe button still red? I mean, I called Chapter 2 OG ages ago, and all jokes aside, that video did awesome, and I'm really appreciative, but I would appreciate it even more if you subscribed. Wait, what was my question in the first place? It was something like, why are there only three seasons in Chapter 2 OG? <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, that's explained by what happens just before this. If you remember, Chapter 2 Season 4 was a very Marvel-themed season, and there's a big reason we might not be experiencing that through Chapter 2 this time, but rather on the Chapter 5 island. That's right, in this roadmap after the post-apocalyptic Season 3, we see a Marvel season focused on Doctor Doom. Something that I find interesting is there's dialogue this season where Jones and Hope are saying how they've been pinned up against the society, and then the gods. And then in this key art, we see the society train being picked apart, so it seems like the underground will rise up in Season 3, in this desert biome, sort of like the underdogs proving their way. That's until Doctor Doom comes in. If you think back to the Season X The End event of Chapter 1, that brought the attention of Galactus to the Fortnite Island, similarly to how the Big Bang probably attracted Doctor Doom. And it's interesting too, because Doctor Doom does have a history in the Fortnite storyline, it's not just a random occurrence. When Doom was last in the Fortnite universe, we got the Fortnite Zero War comics. This followed the story of the High Evolutionary, who had the Zero Point Shard and then lost it after Jones and the Seven members distracted him. Then Doctor Doom got a hold of it and was going to use it to travel to the Fortnite Island and supposedly take over all of creation. He then uses this to go to the island's Ice Moon, where the Ice King collection of dangerous items is, and collects all of these to use them to fight against the Seven and Jones. Spider-Man then helps them by taking back the Zero Shard and using it to repair the mech, Doctor Doom meets them on the island once more and betrays the Imagined Order. As he says, the philosophy of your Imagined Order is sound, it is possible for those with sufficient wisdom, genius, and resolve to engineer the perfect society. Your mistake was believing you were the ones capable of such a thing, when only Doom is blessed with such vision. So it seems like Chapter 5 will follow the story of the society being defeated and the underground rising up against Doctor Doom's Imagined Order. It's a bit all over the place, but it's kinda cool. Charlie when being the writer and being heavily involved with Marvel makes this make a lot of sense, especially when Doom says, if any life lingers in you, take solace as you die in the knowledge that your goal will be realized. Someday, far from here, by Doom. This also indicates that Chapter 5 Island might be far from where we once were. We know Chapter 4 was in Reality Zero, but Chapter 5 seems to be a whole new galaxy, which Doctor Doom is going to arrive on to create his perfect order. The two main characters who have undermined the Imagined Order in the past were Jones and Midas. Funnily enough, they're both heavily involved in the story right now. We know Chapter 2 OG will focus solely on Seasons 1, 2, and 3. 
which was sort of the era of Fortnite of Ghost and Shadow rebelling against the Imagined Order. So they may actually go back to Chapter 2 to break the storm and gather all the members like Midas, Sloane and Jones, so it's their Imagined Order against Doctor Doom's Imagined Order. And then we wouldn't obviously go into Chapter 2 Season 4 because that's already a Marvel season. So it's looking pretty interesting. Back to what I was saying before about events focusing more on the metaverse, this seems to be concerning a lot of people. There have been recent controversial changes to the game which are focusing more on collabs than original Fortnite ideas identity, and also just removing huge things that are a part of Fortnite for no reason. Recently, the rarity system, which came from weapons that was put onto skins, was then just removed for no reason. Well, apparently it was to make the game less Battle Royale inspired. And Chapter 6 is rumoured to be Epic's big push for the metaverse, encouraging players to play UEFN experiences over Battle Royale. And look, there are some great UEFN games. Like, there's some awesome stuff, but it just doesn't get pushed out. With the recent drama of the pit maps as well, there's just a lot of controversy in that area. And Epic can make this the future of their game, it just needs to be heavily fixed. Now, speaking of a new direction for the game, I'm actually working on a huge project which does exactly that. It takes Fortnite's traditional ways of storytelling through cutscenes and quests to tell an entirely new story that focuses on characters' individual experiences after escaping the loop. Keep an eye out for that because it's going to be awesome. Fortnite's ways of storytelling have always been pretty intriguing and very different, but as of recent times it seems to have fallen off a little bit. Even with the Zeus story I was saying before, a lot of the hourglass stuff and the battles we're not really seeing. I do like the fact that we're getting cutscenes showing each character in their battles, but there's no dialogue there's no real substance to it, it's kind of just a war. Which to be honest is a bit disappointing, but Fortnite's future modes should be able to fix this. My last video was about the open world mode and how that could be Fortnite's new outlet to tell their story. With Midas saying he's going to bigger places, maybe he could go to this Midas galaxy and introduce us to this whole exploring worlds idea. I mean, I even had a thing in my head where it was like Midas could open up a massive rift and take us all to his world. Like, just imagine his yacht leaving through a crack in the side of the world. I don't know whatever else it could be, but there's exciting ways to do this. I also just want people to realise that it's not all bad. People get mad that we're updating things like Lego rather than Battle Royale, but we're still getting pretty consistent stuff, and Colombo is awesome. I'll take him in any mode, honestly, I miss that guy. And then we've also got Festival, having Billie Eilish and even Snoop Dogg at some point. Like, if you try these other modes out, it's actually quite a lot of fun. I just find it a bit worrying that Battle Royale isn't meant to be sort of on the front line anymore. Leaks seem to be increasing, the content in Battle Royale seems to be decreasing, and that's just what Epic want to do. They also seem to want to reveal every single Season 3 before it gets released. Remember Season 3 vibing, the whole Battle Pass was shown. Chapter 4 Season 3, we got all the skins. <laughs> we even got the Season Key art, and people thought, oh, this was fake, it can't be that bad. Yeah, no, uh, Wilds was definitely that bad. And then Chapter 5 Season 3, the apocalyptic desert theme is shown literally a month before. We've definitely known about this for a while, and leaks are annoying quite a few people as it sort of ruins the element of surprise for them, but unfortunately, that's just where the game is at. For me, personally, these leaks make me even more excited. Hearing about the story of the underground uprising and fighting against Doom's Imagined Order is really cool to me, and then us going back to Chapter 2 to re-experience the era where we first undermine the Imagined Order is just such a nice callback, and a really good way to do it as well. So here's to hoping that the roadmap is real. I'd say it is. I mean, I don't see a reason why Epic wouldn't have come out and said something about it so far. They wouldn't want to get our hopes up for seasons that just aren't gonna happen. That would suck. But I guess we'll see.